hello there everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing great and today's video is all about split primary palette what is it and how you can use a split primary palette to mix gorgeous vibrant watercolors so without any further ado let's get started before talking about a split primary palette we really need to define what primary colors are so traditionally yellow red and blue are called as primary colors and these are the colors that you cannot create by mixing other colors now the other color theory is cyan yellow and magenta but for today's video we are just going to be following red blue and yellow color theory so sometimes we just want to mix a beautiful vibrant green but we end up having a really dirty one and in order to fix that we are going to be following a split primary palette and understand the temperatures of colors so that we can mix vibrant colors all the time. So a split primary palette is a very simple arrangement of colors on the basis of temperatures. In a split primary palette you are going to have a warm and a cool tone of each primary color that you are going to be using. And here I have a warm and a cool red, a warm and a cool blue and finally a warm and a cool yellow. So this is how you form a split primary palette. You just need to have warm and cool colors for each primary color that you are using. Talking about the temperatures of the colors, the reds and oranges are the warmer colors and the blues and the purples are the cooler colors. As I said previously, any color can be warm and cool depending upon its placement onto the color wheel. For example, this red is a cool red and that is because it deviates more toward the blue side as compared to the warmer red so when you keep two red colors together one of them is going to be deviating towards the blue side and the other is going to be deviating towards the orange side making them cool and warm respectively so in order to mix vibrant secondary colors you need to mix the colors that are closer to each other onto the color wheel to mix a vibrant orange mix a warm red with a warm yellow and for mixing a beautiful green you need a cool yellow and a warm blue that is because a warm blue and a cooler yellow are closer to each other and will yield a very beautiful green color let's put everything together that we have talked about and start mixing some colors directly onto the paper all the secondary colors in this color wheel are actually mixed using these uh, split primary colors so first of all i am going to be painting a uh, purple so the colors close to each other are a cool red as I have here and in this I am going to be mixing a cool blue. Now that yields a beautiful purple because they both want to mix a purple because they are close to each other onto the color wheel. But what if I mix a warm red with a warm blue? Let's see what happens. Here I have my cadmium red and in this I am mixing my cobalt blue. And it gives a really weird kind of color that I cannot even call a uh, purple anymore. But again, I'm going to be mixing a little more red just in case to see if it is going to change its color. But no, it's really, really dark purple, the one that we really don't want. Now I'm going to mix a beautiful orange. And the colors that are close to each other to mix an orange are a warm red and a warm yellow. This will yield a beautiful and vibrant orange all the time. But if I mix a cool red with a cool yellow in order to get an orange, the results are not exactly as you might think. For example, here I'm mixing a cool red and a cool yellow and it yields a really pale and dark looking orange. Again, not the one that we really want. And finally, in order to get a beautiful vibrant green, you need to mix a warm blue and a cool yellow. So here I have my cool yellow and in this I'm going to be mixing my warm blue now as you can see it forms a really beautiful green but i'm going to be mixing a little more yellow in it just to see how vibrant it goes so here i have my a little bit more yellow and you can see it turned really beautiful and vibrant green but if i mix a cool blue with a warm yellow i do not get a really vibrant looking green Instead, I get a really muddy looking and a darker version of green that is again not really vibrant. Now, I'm not saying that the colors that are on the right side are not worth it or you should not mix them. It's just about preference. But split primary palette is all about mixing vibrant colors while keeping the temperature of colors in your mind. Color mixing can be a really intimidating thing, but it gets better with practice and using a split primary palette you can create the muddy and the neutrals and the bright colors as well which is like really important for us artists so that we can use 
and whole different arrangement of colors in our artwork. I really hope this video was helpful for you and I was able to demonstrate split primary palette and how you can use it to mix vibrant colors with it. So thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.